Welcome back, everybody. This is Mog once more here, playing some Project Zomboid, and uh, we are here with Benjamin Bailey, back at our previous outpost that was kind of down near the school on the east side of New Denver. And uh, we've come back this way from over on the south side of town. I feel like we explored the hospital and explored most of the neighborhoods around there, so I'm not too concerned with continuing our exploration there. As there's, like, I mean, there's some park land, there's just kind of open space, a couple of picnic tables, some covered areas, things like that that we didn't see that were a little more distinct. But otherwise, there's really not much more to that. And I mean, otherwise, we've kind of explored a lot of New Denver as it is. Uh, but there is this kind of north end that I don't think we've quite reached the extents of yet. So I was going to push this way a little bit, clear a few more homes of loot. And uh, once we kind of get to that point, it'll be possibly time to start thinking about moving to a new town. Uh, seeing if we can continue our escapades elsewhere, as it were. That's going to be a locked little fence there, but we can just hop on over. And it looks like the back door is open. We may have been through here already. Uh, but we're going to take a quick peek and see if anything stands out. Now, uh, you may notice a lot of the bookshelves are no longer, and it looks like we got some new loot here too, uh, a lot of the bookshelves are no longer showing some of the loot items from mods that we had in the past. I have since turned those off with a new version of the game. We're pretty much just going to focus on the default game and adding in the map packs and not have any of the kind of gameplay functional change stuff that we had in the previous mods. It wasn't too much or very imposing, but uh, it, it does kind of play a part in taking away from that vanilla experience, I suppose. I can appreciate that point of view, at least. So let's go ahead and loot up this kitchen. We got some Chardonnay there, along with a bunch of other kind of uh, basic foods. Like, uh, we got some chips. We picked up some dry ramen noodles, which are make great for cooking, stir-fry, things like that. So we're, we're finding some loot, good things that we need, like our food. Uh, definitely something we have been running low on the past little while on many of our characters. So it's kind of a good thing to find a bit of extra food. Loop around in here. We don't see anybody in this back bedroom. Let's check out some of these things here. We got some cabinets in the corner without much. So we got two more chests in here. We got some sleeping tablets. We'll take those, I suppose. Uh, leaving behind everything else. We haven't found a key for this new place. Not like I was going to take it anyway. I don't have any real desire to stay at this location. So uh, probably won't be what we do. But we're going to go ahead and it looks like we've pretty much looted everything. I don't think we checked this. Do we actually get the loot on this? Master Carpentry. That's right. I left it behind. Do I want to, though? I'll take Master Carpentry. With the new skill system, it might be good, and I'm not sure that we have that book. So let's... Oh, garbage can. We got a garbage bag. We'll snag that. We got four back at the schoolhouse uh, outpost. Just so, like, once we get another level or whatever ends up being here for Benjamin Bailey to actually craft these uh, rain barrels, we'll be able to kind of have that ready. We got four to, ready to go, and now five. Oh, hello there, zombie. Let's go ahead and bring it around in the open here so we can get a good look around us. <clears throat> two of them looks like. Anymore, just the two for now, and swing. She goes down. Take her down. Move a bit back and charge up and swing. Thankfully, we're able to knock them both down pretty easily. Not too much of a task there. Let's see if we can pop into this little house here. That's locked, but there's a couple of windows. We may be able to jump inside. Looks like there's at least a garbage can. I don't think there's anything inside of it. Uh, but I guess we'll see. And we are inside, so let's go ahead and pop in, look around, close that window. Now that we are safe looking, and the garbage can is empty, but we've got one more chest here with a battery. We'll snag the battery, makes for, uh, you do need them if you want to actually use a flashlight. Let's leave that open. Uh, flashlight, oh nice, this one's unlocked. Let's sneak here into the bedroom real quick. Uh, if you want to power flashlights or make the stationary lamp posts that use flashlights and also use batteries, uh, you'll certainly need them, and you'll go through them rather quickly, especially if you forget to turn off your damn lights. I've done it many a time. By many, I mean like four or five times. I haven't really used those light poles all that often. Oh, nice, we've got some ammo here. Let's take that and put it into the backpack. Uh, we are going to take that water bottle since it is kind of a nice thing to have, and I think I will take the mug. I should be taking bowls. We've only got one basic bowl, oh boy, uh, one basic bowl back at our current outpost, so uh, that is something we may want to get sometime soon. Okay, wasn't in there, was it in here? Look around. No, that must have been at one of the other houses. I'm going to go ahead and ignore that for now then, and let's keep moving. Oh, come on, back out of that room. Let's move over into the living room, see if there's anything else over here that we can check. Did I actually finish checking here? I didn't, so let's check these. Uh, before we move on to the living room, chips, garbage bag, red wine, all good things we're going to snag. 
and a bowl, just like we were talking about there, and a cooking pot. We'll take both of those. Good storage for water. Carrot, more water bottle. Uh, we'll take them both. And then we can check the fridge, but based on my experience, it's going to be all rotted food. If we can select it. Oh, look at that. It's all rotten. Okay, we got two chests in here, and we're going to call it belt and some other junk. Nothing we're going to take. We could take, uh, I'm going to leave that open, we could take the propane tank, but as you saw in a previous episode, that is kind of a, an ordeal, to say the least. Uh, we don't see anything there. We do hear some pounding of some zombies on windows, it sounds like, or doors. And I'm sure we can find them sooner or later. Oh, hello, right back here. Let's run past you. That did get your attention, but it looks like there's probably some more zombies around here from what I can tell. Let's back you up this way. You're going really slow, lady. Knocked you down. Let's finish you off there. And we can loot you, so that is a dead zombie. Let's check. Ooh, there's a ch some chests back here, actually. It's not just like a, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Like a, like a log pile, like we'd seen in previous ones. This one actually has storage. And not much, though. Not much of anything that we found, at least. So let's go ahead and, ah, there's that zombie. Let's see if we can pop this window open and get inside. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Maybe try this one on the hallway uh, door area here. See if we can pop into the home. Get inside and finish this zombie off if we're lucky. And stop that pounding from attracting any more zombies. So let's hop in, take a quick look around, open this, well, close that window, open this door, and then open this one. Push them both back. Let's bring them here into the kitchen where we get a little more space. And knock them both down. And finish them off here. That's one. Whoa! Hello there. Back it up here. I don't like you that close to the window, but we didn't hit it, so I'm okay with this. We can check both corpses. They are both, in fact, dead, and let's go find the source of this other pounding here. I bet you it's in this bedroom because there's that broken window. Let's check the rest of these rooms, though, make sure there's nobody else that's going to sneak up behind us. It's just doors. Okay, two pounding. There might be two zombies in here, but we're going to go ahead and swing away. It looks like the other one's still pounding, probably the other bedroom. One down, and nobody else is in here. So let's see uh, what we can find in here. We might be able to find, possibly, a key on one of these zombies we killed inside, because apparently the zombies that spawn inside of a home have a chance of dropping a key. It doesn't look like it's a very high chance, based on what we've seen thus far, but there is a chance. If that's if you're looking to secure a house on an online server, or, you know, just to roleplay a bit on your own private single-player game, keep that in mind. That's how you might be able to find a key for the place you're, you desire to make your, your safe house. As it were, there's also combination locks that allow you to make combination codes of up to three characters and set those as your lock combinations. We got a few more mugs in here along with some seeds. Let's take them both along with that mug. And what have we got in that other container called the fridge? Absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead and head on out. Check both corpses for sure. No things in there. And yeah, it's open. Of course, I didn't open that one. Other zombie. Let's go ahead and run out this way, unlocking this door. Bring you guys this way. Oh, Jesus! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Scratched and bleeding. Okay, I can handle scratches. Let's go ahead and grab out some ripped sheets. Okay, we're looking okay for distance. Let's go ahead and bandage up that arm. Jesus. I was holding down the wrong button. I was trying to press uh, control and I hit shift. Oh, I screwed that one up. That should not have been a difficult thing to do. Knock you down. Kill you. Finish you off, too. Swing again. Make sure. Okay, we're good. Oh, jeez. Made my, made my heart do a little race in there. We got a few zombies over that direction. I'm not too concerned with that. We're gonna want to actually get some uh, something to sterilize this uh, this wound with, so it does not get infected uh, from a bite or scratch. That is definitely not something we want. So let's go ahead and head back for now. We got some some okay loot in the form of what we've got here in this bag. Do I get three bowls? I got one bowl. Damn. Oh, we've got disinfectant right here. Actually, that's just okay. Let's duck inside real quick. I didn't I didn't remember that we had that. Let's go ahead and do this. We've got the sheets out. Let's go ahead and sit here in the corner where we can see everything. Open up our health panel. Uh, first, actually, before we do that, let's sterilize one rag. Sterilized. 
remove this bandage. We are going to um, disinfect the wound directly. Disinfect right there. It's, it's more efficient if you use a cotton ball if you have one. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to do that twice. Let's go ahead and just bandage this up. But yeah, if you have cotton balls, what you can do is uh, basically disinfect the cotton balls and it takes a much smaller amount from your bottle of disinfectant. Uh, so you get to basically make it a little bit more efficient while still being able to uh, basically disinfect your wound. So it's kind of a, it's just an efficiency thing. I keep saying efficiency. I'm going to move on from that topic. Let's keep moving here that we've got this all disinfected and bandaged back up so we shouldn't get infected. Let's see what else we can find up and about in this way. we got probably one or two more houses in us before uh, wanting to call it and bring him home to get him some food. Looks like they're going to wander away that direction. I'm okay with that. We're just going to keep moving here. Try to sneak on around here, see if we can uh, not get spotted by those guys. Looks like we might get spotted from that one. Or she's just going to dance around us. I'm fine with that, too. Let's keep it moving this direction, see how far down we can get. Uh, we got a few zombies here that are probably going to notice this. Uh, or not. I'm okay. Okay, okay, there she goes. And that other one heard it, so let's back it off. And I did not kill that zombie. That first one, that lady back there, she's climbing over that fence now. There she goes. Down you go as well. Take a look around. It doesn't look like anybody else was attracted to that noise, so we are good. There's not much loot on those guys. Let's hop over the fence here and see if we can get inside. Is there another fence here? It looks like there's another fence. Those are some locked doors. So let's see if we can pop a window into the living room here. And it looks like we are getting hungry. So after this, we're probably going to want to send Benjamin Bailey home, especially now. Jesus. Let's pop these doors real quick. And see if we can snag anything very fast. Mostly in the food form of food. Take a look around, make sure there's nobody inside here already. Don't hear anything. Garage, what do we got? Anything in the garage? Uh, garbage bags. Snag that up. Head on out from there. We got a zombie coming at the back window. Some vitamins. Uh, bath towel, not going to take any of that. Thankfully, that alarm is now off and no longer distracting. Let's head into the bedroom here. We've got a zombie trying to bust on some windows. A couple zombies trying to bust on some windows. Let's hop in here just real quick. Check everything. Close that off. Is there anything back here? There is something. Just a sweater and whatnot. So let's go ahead and just take off. Because we're not going to worry about this shit. Oh, God! Okay, we didn't get hurt again. It was just lining up with uh, with our other injuries, giving us a dirty bandage. Let's go ahead and uh, sterilize another sheet, if we don't mind. Ripped sheets. We still have four. That's odd to me. Main inventory. Disinfectant. Bottle of disinfectant. Where are you? Right there. Back into the main inventory we go. Let's go ahead and disinfect another reg. One disinfected reg. Let's go ahead and change this. Scratched and bleeding, we're just going to bandage it back up. It's already been disinfected once. I think we're good there. Uh, now we got a new clean bandage on it. We are going to need some food here soon so that we can get our healing rate going. We are a bit damaged. So, let's move it on home then. <coughs> and we'll get Benjamin Bailey some food here. In fact, for now, why don't you just go ahead and eat some chips, Ben? Might get you a little started there. Unfortunately, we are out in the rain. We are getting wet, and it raises our chances of getting sick. So uh, that'll also be something we have to consider. And it looks like there's the uh, farm area, and this should be our place right here. I just saw some barricades. We are home. So let's bring Benjamin Bailey on inside. Get him back in a safe environment. Call it good. Get him some snacks and send him to bed, guys. If you've learned something new that, or liked this episode, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate the feedback. And if you want to join the Mog Squad today and become a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Find the Mog Squad group on Steam through the description below if you are curious as to what the heck I'm talking about. Check it out and join it if you like. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers!